what I can't stand the idea of hand washing isn't so much hand washing anything but my own underwear. I don't know why, but just hand washing my own underwear makes me feel really disgusted, even though they're my own. Uh oh. Goodbye to our washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> How is this even possible? <laughs> Stress. Oh dear. Lucas. <coughs> Because you know that the washing machine is broken. <laughs> we can't go out today. Can't go out. Can't go out this morning, Lucas. Lucas, I know you really want to go out, but we can't do it this morning, Lucas. <laughs> You want to go outside? You can go outside. Well, Lucas, you seem to be very happy in the backyard, Lucas. <laughs> you having fun, Lucas? See, it's nice playing in our own house. Yes. Lucas. Uh, you like it, Lucas? You like being up here, Lucas? Yeah, see, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> Lucas, are you enjoying it up here, sweetheart? Yes, it's fun playing our own house. Wow! I am so proud of you, Lucas, for watering the plants. Oh, well done, sweetheart. Mummy is so proud of you. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Lucas. I never thought I'd see the day when Lucas wants to water the plants. My little hard-working gardener. <laughs> Good job. <coughs> Lucas, your feet is so dirty. <laughs> well done, Lucas. <clears throat> Lucas, well done. Good job, Lucas! Wow, Mommy is so proud! <clears throat> the proud parent moment. I never thought I would see the day when Lucas is helping with watering. He's always just been disinterested in the life. Oh my god, Lucas! Well done, Lucas! Ah, oh, the water! Hello, bin chicken. Hello, darling. Lucas took the door off the washing machine. And we've had to just say no, we can't go out this morning because we really wanted to go to the Maccas and wasn't happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, but he did get to play in the yard and he had fun with the hose watering the plant. Yeah, I'm very happy about that, but just another thing broken in the house. <laughs> Added to the printer, the, um, the upstairs cap uh, bathroom cabinet thingo, you know, the hand the door thing, and the door on the bathroom stairs, and many other things. You just have to take it one step at a time, breathe, and get some fresh air. That's what I recommend. Look at these lovely trees.
didn't even know that that's how washing machine doors look like or when they're taken off the thing. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to spend right now to do some cleaning around the house and just see what junk I can get rid of because there's a lot of junk around. The door. <laughs> Hello you, taking over my camera. <laughs> Hello big boy butt. Hello little boy butt. <laughs> no, they're, they're, that's not their names, I swear. That is not their names, I swear. <laughs> well, today is one of those days that is um, a little more stressful than usual, but the way I handle it is just try to focus. <laughs> you gotta focus, you gotta f -f 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 focus. No, I'm just kidding. Kidding, no. Uh, what I really love to do today, actually what I found really helpful was just going in, in the botanic gardens for a little while, go to the market and just look at the birds and the, I almost said cockroaches, no, the, the, the chicken bins, no, the bin chickens and the trees and leaves and taking shots of different trees in different positions i love that like wintry feel where the leaves are like so here is almost winter is almost over but most of the scenery still looks like autumn so you've got trees that are still trying to lose leaves or not because they keep changing their mind because the the winter is not that cold so the leaves don't lose some leaves some trees don't lose any leaves a lot of the trees uh don't lose any leaves but the ones that do they get confused because one day it's warm one day it's cold so some of them like lose half their leaves just like my goji uh berry tree strub thingo it is forever flowering and then dying off and flowering and dying off over through the whole winter months like i don't think it even knows what it's doing which is quite funny because i think it's just like confused about like whether it should go in dormant to uh, go into dormancy or wake up and produce fruits and then it, yeah it gets tricked it's quite interesting that the plants get tricked yeah i've just been really enjoying oh yeah i um Today I actually picked up these little fruits. Uh, I, I don't know what fruits they are, but they look like miniature pumpkins. I'm so excited. Like they literally look like miniature pumpkins. Yeah, I picked these up in the botanic garden, uh, not in the city somewhere. It was just underneath the big tree and wow, like the, it looked really interesting. I, I thought I just like, I picked up a few of them and I think I just put them somewhere as like a decoration because it's so pretty. It just looks like a miniature pumpkin. I've never seen seeds like this before. Maybe I, maybe they're always there. I just don't, haven't looked too much, but yeah, they're, they're really cool. And that's what I enjoy doing when I get really stressed out. I do enjoy a little quiet time. I'm usually like more like into going into the shops, but sometimes I'll feel like going into the natural environment but yeah you know what i'm both are really fun both are really fun and also i just love putting on some very inspirational um videos that i just listen to in the background so yeah it's it's quite a good way to de-stress and honestly what's stressful is not so much that lucas broke the washing machine lid he's just being curious what's stressful to me is the it's the discipline and also the fact that he sometimes like because this morning we said we we wouldn't take him to mcdonald's because he loves going there in the weekend and we had to like kind of reinforce some kind of consequence for doing something like that because we don't want to just have him think that he just break everything uh take everything apart as he wants but at the same time i don't want to like make it too severe of a punishment so all we said was like no you're not going to Macca's this morning he still gets to go out this this afternoon and maybe some people might think that punishment is not harsh at all but anyway you know what it, it is for him because he enjoyed going to that public toilet so much that not going today was very painful for him so hopefully he'll remember next time I know he's not doing it intentionally he's just curious like he just wants to take things apart and look and yeah, it's like, yeah, we're gonna have to fix it somehow until then, maybe hand wash. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to hand wash. And honestly, the funny thing is, 
What? I can't stand the idea of hand washing. Isn't so much hand washing anything but my own underwear. I don't know why, but just hand wash my own underwear makes me feel really disgusted, even though they're my own. But anyway, yes. Look, that, that is just um, <laughs> pretty funny. But anyway, what's the stressful part is really is... Um, I think more, I got more stress actually to, from talking to my mom about, about it because she was like, oh, you gotta be really careful, like you could turn out this and that and this. And honestly, I, I get that she's worried, but at the same time, that like when she's reacting to that, it just kind of quadruples my worry a bit. So yeah. And then it's, it's, it's funny, I just have to like remind myself I'm doing the best I can. And honestly, if you're that parent who has a very critical parent, who likes to say that you're not doing good enough. I just want to tell you that you are doing good enough. At least in your own eyes you are. That's good enough for you. And honestly, other people may not understand how you do things, but how you do things is good enough if you feel that way. So I just want to say that you're doing a good job. <laughs> and um, honestly, like I know a lot of times especially like I feel like Asian parents they kind of like to critique how you parent and I feel like it's almost like a little ego thing like they like to say like oh you like I didn't do this that you did it's kind of like almost like them making themselves feel a bit better so I wouldn't take their criticism too personally it's like it feels kind of almost like they're just just I don't know like I, I just have to remind myself that I'm doing really well I'm doing the best I can and I have to just keep it at that. One step at a time, we'll figure it out. Well, <laughs> hopefully um, today was a learning lesson. Until then, I'll <laughs> have to figure out how to wash my own underwear. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a crazy, crazy thing. <laughs>